The Kentucky Derby and Churchill Downs have become American institutions since their debuts in 1875, and countless individuals have contributed to their ongoing growth. Prominent among them are the African-American jockeys and trainers who helped build the early foundation of success that now spans nearly a century and a half. 13 of the 15 horses that competed in that first derby in 1875 were ridden by African-Americans. When Oliver Lewis guided Aristides to victory for African-American training legend and eventual Hall of Famer Ansel Williamson in that first derby, the victory was one of 15 by African-American riders in the first 28 runnings of the race. Three of those history-making jockeys are enshrined in Racing's Hall of Fame. Three-time derby winner and national racing hero Isaac Murphy and two-time derby winners Jimmy Winkfield and Willie Sims. Also prominent is William Walker Sr., who was born into slavery and at the age of 17, piloted Baden-Baden to win the 1877 Derby. During a 60-year career, Walker also trained horses and was a bloodline consultant to John E. Madden, who bred five Kentucky Derby winners. Those men, along with fellow Derby winners Lonnie Clayton, Erskine Henderson, Babe Hurd, George Garrett Lewis, Isaac Lewis and Sue Perkins were among the brightest stars in American racing before government-sanctioned Jim Crow laws and the poison of racism pushed them from their hard-earned prominence. Their legacy is now restored and the accomplishments of the early African-American heroes of the Kentucky Derby are honored at Churchill Downs during Derby Week with the annual running of the William Walker Stakes. <laughs>